What's up everybody? And we got a box. And somebody went ape shit with a taping machine on this one. So we'll check this out. taped up kind of feels a little fluffy survival box gear only xl all right let's get into it sides oh, got that one we got that and back down the center all right here we go Ooh, nice 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 kind of like so it what have we got? We've got our survival knowledge card. Number 47. Rules of survival. Okay. Yeah, don't die. Pretty much the number one rule of survival. Don't die. So this is our number 47 card. So we'll throw that in the binder. Pretty cool. Alright, and we are the survival box gear only XL. Uh, 214, 36 Amazon value. 22478 MSRP and I think we pay 129 for it. So is what it is. Pause and see fit how you like it. Alright, so first up is our speedy sharp carbide sharpener. Ah, there's a lot of stuff in this thing. Oh, a lot of stuff I see that we've seen before. And there we go. So this is basically, uh, I'm not really, I don't, I really don't like these. Maybe for a lawnmower blade or an ax or something like that. It's basically a carbide bit on the end of it and you kind of shave it across your blade to, you know, try to make it sharp. I guess if you were in a pinch or something like that, but really I, I wouldn't use this on my knives. Maybe my axes or something like that, but. All right, not, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. So, if you all are, well, hey, that's on you. You got that. And they give that a $10.40 value. Uh, you could have took the plastic off it and just gave us the metal, and it would have been three bucks. I don't know. Not liking that. But anyway, let's moving on. We have the Osage River Twain Hammock. Oh, hell yeah, we got a hammock. So then I got a hammock in another box, and I don't know. I just need to do some hammock camping. I, I, I've never really had. So, but obviously, I probably can't pull this whole thing out, but we'll see if we can get a gander at it. See what it comes with. Because they all know hammocks are, you know, they're hammocks. Put them between two fixed places and you can hang out. Uh, if I can get it open. Oh, there's some. Oh, we got a little tree staff on that one. We got some lines. Yeah. You got your tree saver lines. Yep, two of those. So that's kind of cool, actually. So those kind of go around the tree and then whatever knots they got in these things but then you kind of hook your hammock up to that and so that tells me there should be carabiners on the hammock and yeah they're in there somewhere but if I take this whole thing out we're gonna have a mess so yeah the Osage River hammock with straps, because everything else is somewhere. But yeah, I really need to do some uh, hammock camping, I think. Because I got one in another box. All right, so they gave that a $49.99 value. Eh, don't really know what hammocks cost, so I'll go with it. So next up, we have the camp pillow. That's this guy. And you know what? I, I don't know. I, I kind of like some of the you know, pillows you get for camping because you don't have to use your bag. 
And if you ever had to use your bag or roll up your sweatshirt to try and have a pillow, you'll appreciate stuff like this. Sounds kind of cool. It comes in a little stuff sack. We'll open it up and see what it is. It's not like self-inflating or nothing like that. It just looks like a pillow stuffed in a sack. Yeah. Look at that. We got a nice little smooth side on it. And then we got a little plaid side. It's kind of nice. Of course, these we can take off now. But I like that. It's kind of nice. It feels really soft. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool, actually. Let me throw that in my hammock and have a day. And yeah, I'm probably not going to get that back in my bag. Alright, so they gave that a $16.95 value. Alright. So, Pro Comber Solo Panel Set. And yes, we have gotten this before. Because we have gotten two in one. So, they're kind of nice. I mean, it's a one amp kind of thing. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't really know. Like, I think they're just emptying out the warehouse, to be honest with you. But you got a one amp solar panel. You got the cord for it. And this is actually a, a power bank with a flashlight on it. So you can kind of store that and you can use that to recharge your stuff. Which I think is kind of cool, but you know, I don't know. It's kind of big. I mean, we have smaller things out there, but. And they've already sent us two in a box only a few months ago. But it's still cool. Like to have it, always good. You never have too much solar charging stuff. Well, I guess you could, but. So give that a $14.99 value. And then next up, we have the Rand McNally Road Atlas. Yeah, they're just cleaning out the warehouse. So yes, you have a Road Atlas. Maps and things and all that good stuff that we have GPS for now. And if you remember too, they sent this out in another box uh, quite a few months ago. So they gave that a $14.95 value. Mm, and I'll call some stuff. All right, so next up we have the UST Solo Cook Kit. And it'll be this guy. This one we haven't seen in a box recently. So this should be good. If I can get it open without tearing the crap out of it. I guess we're just tearing the crap out of it. Made a mockery out of it. Seriously? So this is our solo cook kit. Basically what we have is a lid or a little cup and a little pot with a bag. And we have some arms that fold out. So then you have uh, little things on the side and obviously they're upside down. Or am I upside down? Now they're upside down and backwards. Oh wait, because if you look in here, the right. <laughs> Tricked ya. But yeah, so you got your little cup, and then you got a lid or another little cup if you wanted so. And they got the little neoprene arms on there, and it collapses in there. So that's kind of nice. I kind of like little camp stove things and camping gear. And we got a nice little mesh bag for it all. All should fit right into it. And you're good to go. All right, so next up, we have the Stan Sport Multifunction Dynamo Radio. And that's this guy. I mean, we got a little crank on here. We can crank it up. Make red lights. So I mean, something like this is always really good. 
You know, it's got the little antenna on there. So it's got a flashlight and knobs and stuff. Make this work. Yeah, it's doing something. Not really sure what it's doing. But it's working. Then of course I guess you can put some headphones in, you can charge it, you can make an alarm. That's kind of cool. Nice little camping thing or something if you're out and you need it. Very small, very compact. You know, that antenna folds back up into it. So good to go there. Pretty nice. Kind of like it. I want to see how that works out too. Well. So that's pretty cool. All right, so next up, we have the Shrade Outback Machete. Ugh. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, it's a Outback Machete by Shrade. Eh, you know, let's get into it. Only took an hour. All right, so we're into it. Got their Outback machete. Nah, not too bad on the sharpness thing, but this is just all plastic. I mean, it feels slippery. It really does. I guess it's kind of sharp. My bad. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I take that back. It works. I still got the tip on too. And then we got a nice little plastic sheath with it. Which, uh, I don't know, kind of. That's like the old uh, military kind of. Alice belt clips and stuff like that, or whatever the hell you want to call them. And it's got a little sharpener here on the side. Looks like one of them carbide ones, stuff like that, so you can kind of drag it through. And let's get the tip off there and see what she does. And it's kind of tight in there. That's what she said. Yeah, it's got some drag on it. I don't know, not too bad. It's gonna be pretty cool, you know, just gotta learn where to use that and how to use it, but that's pretty impressive. So we got that. I sure I'm pretty impressed. All right, so what'd they give that a value at? Uh, 20 bucks. That's pretty cool for 20 bucks, kind of. I'm just saying. And then we have the Outdoor Edge Arrow Strike Throwing Knife Set. All right. Well, you know, they're just, they're novelties. They're, I mean, what are you gonna do with them? I mean, yeah, you see in the movies, yeah, you, you throw a throwing knife at somebody and, no, oh, he drops dead. Hell no. You throw a throwing knife at somebody, you're just pissing them off. Even if you hit them good. But it would be actually be kind of cool just to, you know, hang out at camp and shit like that and maybe throw them in a log and see see who's better, you know, kind of make bets on them and stuff like that. And it's got a little sheath with it too. It's got one, two, three, three little tiers on there. You know, and honestly, it probably could just be three different knives you could use, you know. You know, it looks like it's got holes in it, so you could probably wrap them in some paracord or something like that, but... I don't know. Not really a big fan of it, so... But it is what it is. We got some knives. But that's what it is. You know, so we got those. Not a big fan. This one... I don't know. I'm curious about it. Uh, speedy Sharp? Mm, no. 
Little dynamo radio. Eh, I kind of like that. That could be pretty handy. Of course, the hammock. Well, yeah, it's a hammock. And I gotta do some hammock camping. Maybe we can take some of this stuff and go do it. The solo cook kit. Yes, I do like it, but it's pretty much just a pot and heat up everything, so like that. But I always like my camping stuff. Uh, the road map. Well, we've seen that, so. And then the one amp solar charging panel. We've seen that too in the last few months. And then, of course, we have the camp pillow, which actually is kind of nice. So it looks like a uh, survival box you said go. Hey, you know what? We got too much shit in the warehouse. Let's empty it out. Because pretty much half this stuff we already got. But all in all, we'll take it. We'll use it. We'll have some fun with it. And yeah, we'll have some fun with it. So it is, it is. It's December. Like, subscribe. And we'll do some more stuff with this stuff. Appreciate y'all.